Since Congressman Paul Ryan was added to the Republican presidential ticket, much of the talk on the campaign trail has shifted from jobs to Medicare. Democrats are attacking Ryan for his controversial plan to reform the program. Republicans, meanwhile, are accusing President Obama of robbing Medicare of $716 billion, even though Mr. Ryan's plan calls for the same cuts. All this heated back and forth can be confusing for voters, so Anthony Mason decided to sort it all out for us. Medicare has become the new political buzzword on the campaign trail. I can't believe it. He has taken $716 billion out of the Medicare trust fund to pay for Obamacare. And in television ads. President Obama took billions from Medicare to pay for a new government program, Obamacare. But where did that $716 billion figure come from? From here. This July letter from the Congressional Budget Office to House Speaker John Boehner, which says if the president's Affordable Care Act is repealed, spending for Medicare would increase by an estimated $716 billion over the next decade. The Romney campaign says that means the Obama administration is cutting Medicare. The president calls it savings. I propose reforms that will save Medicare money by getting rid of wasteful spending in the health care system. Reforms that will not touch your Medicare benefits, not by a dime. The reality is it's not the patients who would lose money, it's providers. The president's changes mean the annual increases insurance companies receive will be trimmed, hospital reimbursement rates will be reduced, and payments to home health care workers will also be cut back. In fact, vice presidential nominee Paul Ryan's proposed budget contains these same reductions, something we asked Governor Romney about on CBS This Morning. Congressman Ryan's budget makes those same cuts to Medicare. How do you square that? Well, first of all, Congressman uh, Ryan has joined my campaign, and his campaign is, uh, uh, is my campaign now, and we're on exactly the same page, and my campaign has made it very clear. The president's cuts of $716 billion to Medicare, those cuts are going to be restored if I become president and Paul Ryan becomes vice president. But the Congressional Budget Office concluded the cuts, which do not come out of the Medicare Trust Fund, actually make Medicare more efficient and extend the life of the program. And all but four members of the House GOP voted for those same cuts in passing Congressman Ryan's budget plan. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York. This morning, we're taking a closer look at the Medicare debate and Congressman Ryan's impact on the presidential election. Joining us from Washington, D.C. is Scott Conroy, national political reporter for Real Clear Politics and CBS News contributor. Scott, good morning to you. Good morning, Terrell. Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan both criticizing the president for those $716 billion in cuts to Medicare. That's the president's plan. Yet, as we just mentioned before at the top, Congressman Ryan's plan calling for those same cuts. So if Romney and Ryan win the White House come November, what happens to Medicare? Well, what's interesting is that last night, uh, Paul Ryan was in Ohio uh, speaking at his alma mater, and he brought up Medicare on his own in his stump speech for the first time. He said, look, this is a debate we as Republicans want to have. And that sort of marks a change from the first few days after his name to the ticket. You know, right away, Romney and his campaign advisors sort of distanced themselves in a lot of respects from the Ryan plan. They said, you know, he is on the bottom of the ticket and Governor Romney is at the top of the ticket. So I think what, what you're going to see now is that both sides are going to go really, you know, shoulder to shoulder on this issue uh, and hammer it out. We're going to have a real ideological fight on the issue. As far as what happens uh, if Mitt Romney becomes president, you know, he hasn't been at nearly as specific about his uh, budget plan uh, and entitlement uh, plan as, as Paul Ryan has. So I think that remains to be seen. We're going to hear a lot more, I think, about uh, what the Republicans specifically are proposing as we head into the fall and into the debates. So when you hear Romney say something like restore the president's cuts to Medicare, what does that mean? Well, th this is when you get into a matter of semantics because, you know, as we heard in Anthony's package, uh, President Obama doesn't, doesn't characterize those as cuts. Um, they are savings, as far as the Democrats um, are concerned. Uh, they're savings that, that come from Obamacare. So uh, at the heart of this is, is the issue of, well, you know, if Mitt Romney is elected, uh, will we still have Obamacare? Because he's vowed repeatedly uh, to repeal the national health care plan that was signed into law. So a lot depends on that. And we're already seeing, you know, in these down ballot races where, where 
where that is going to get played out in the next Congress. Uh, some of these Republicans at the House and Senate level, um, from sources that I've talked to, are, are you know really trying to figure out how to run on these issues now. There's a concern in the GOP in a national level that having this debate uh, on, on these down ballot races is something that you know a lot of candidates in the GOP don't want to do. You hear a lot of, of vocabulary words coming out here now. Things like voucher program, that's what the president says that the Romney-Ryan ticket will do to Medicare. When you hear the word voucher program, when voters hear that, what are they supposed to think? What does it mean? Well, of course, again, this is all about semantics and, you know, everyone is going to, to characterize this. Uh, in, in the best way that is possible for their own political benefit. Uh, but as we heard in Anthony's piece, you know, there are a lot of uh, similarities, really, uh, when you look at, first of all, the president's plan compared to Paul Ryan's plan. Uh, and, and again, uh, we, we just haven't heard many specifics from, from Romney. So what, what really is going to be interesting over the next few weeks is, you know, does Romney get pressured into actually uh, getting into more details about how his plan will actually work? Because he really hasn't done that, and he's really, you know, criticizing, uh, you know, the Democrats' plan, um, but without offering his own real specific alternative. And my guess is that he's going to be forced into uh, becoming a lot more specific. I mean, look, he, he chose Paul Ryan for a reason. Uh, he wants to have this debate. I think his campaign saw that the strategy they were running, uh, in which they really just make this re election a referendum entirely on the president, that that wasn't going to work. Um, and so now they're going to try something different, and we're going to see you know, the policy guys on the Romney team really have to iron this out over the next few weeks. How significant is Paul Ryan to this conversation? Would we even be talking about this if he weren't added to the campaign? Oh, I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, we'd be talking about it, but not to the extent that we are now. I mean, you know, you talk to any Republican uh, in Washington or outside of Washington, and Paul Ryan was the ideological, uh, you know, example and, and the guy that really took the lead in the GOP on these issues, on entitlement cuts. Um, he's, he's tied at the at the hip to 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 his plan um, and you know in states especially like Florida and Paul Ryan's heading there uh, this weekend I mean issues about Medicare and entitlements in general with the, with the state's population uh, being among the oldest in the nation I mean it's it's everything and you know Florida when you look at this at a political level Florida was a state that the Romney campaign was feeling very good about. I mean, frankly, uh, it was considered a swing state and always will be, but they really thought they had uh, an upper hand there. But now with, with Ryan uh, you know, tied to the campaign as the running mate on the GOP side, they're really going to have to fight out these issues uh, once again. And really, um, you know, it's going to be a tougher, a bit of a tougher haul for them, I think, in a state like Florida. All righty. Scott Conroy, national political reporter for Real Clear Politics and CBS News contributor. Scott, thank you so much. Thanks, Terrell.